Hello, mobsters, and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Astroneer. All right, a new update has just come up, uh, and I am wearing the sunrise suit with the sunrise visor. I'm actually a little bit rusty at this game, so you'll have to forgive me a little bit. Um, we've also got some new stuff in here for the small printer for the... Ooh, ooh, that's new. I don't have titanium. I do have titanium, but I don't want to use some of that. That's new. Medium storage silo. What are you? Tall storage? Okay, that I can do. Uh, let's get that print. That actually wasn't what I was looking for. Um, this is a small printer, right? Uh, winch, tungsten, and rubber. Let's 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 hold on to that. We might want to start dragging stuff up and around this area, but um. This supposed to be... There we go. Medium platform C. I guess that's the tall platform as well. I didn't know there was a tall platform. But medium platform C and tall platform... Um, I'm going to hold off on that one. It's copper. But let's take a look at what medium platform C looks like. That's one of our new bits. And if you notice, I've rearranged here. This ground was just being all weird on me, so I just rearranged how it looks. I should probably make one of those painters and paint it so it looks like the rest of the train. But this makes it a lot more flat. Did I not make a landing pad? I did not make a landing pad. Huh. Alright. Tall storage. I don't even know what I would use that for. Lights, maybe. Huh. But medium platform C... What's going on here? I'm in the way. Gotcha. Take a look at what that see. Let's look at what that looks like. Looks roundish. It's just a twofer. So it looks like it might be rather good... ...for power hub. It has three connections. All right, I can dig that. Uh, where are... There we go. We have a wind turbine there. We've got a bunch of turbines here. This is a large platform. We can migrate you. Wind turbine over here, you over here. That frees up this platform. Just in time. Oh, I want to grab that, not uh, point at it. There we go. And on this side, in our junction hub, can be you. And this actually allows us to make a little bit of different shape for our base. Basically, all along threes. And let's get... Oh, no, not you. You plugged into there since all our power seems to be coming from you. Uh, I really should make up a battery. I really should. Um, and I think we can. Lithium and zinc. Do I have zinc? Oh, we do have Think. All right, let's use that. So that is... It was small printer, right? Small printer... Medium battery. I'm in the way again. Isn't that always the case? There we go. Medium battery. It looks nothing like its picture. Oh, maybe. So I'm just going to occupy this space here with this. Unpack that. That should allow it to be charged. There we go. It's starting to do it. And then once charged, everything will drain out, so we won't be wasting as much power now. I've just been noticing that this entire place goes <laughs> offline pretty quickly. Let's get that tall storage made. Ok, 
Okay, let's unpack you. Tall storage. Looks like a lamppost to me. Yeah, I would imagine putting, like, one of these work lights. On it. Which requires copper. Yeah, because that will at least give us something to see. I mean, it doesn't have much storage. It has three spots of storage. And it looks like it takes up a medium. So, I mean, that'll work for... I mean, those... Yeah, okay. So these platforms... And the tall storage work together to give you street lights. I get it. So from the medium printer, there's a new pattern. Recreational sphere. Let's see what that is. So the recreational sphere. <laughs> I wonder if you could paint it. Oh yeah, even sounds like a beach ball. I can't fling it, can we? Oh, no, I'm gonna lose- I'm gonna lose this down one of those holes. Down the one of those caves, definitely- Oh, no, 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 no. Not now. No. No. No, this needs emergency lights. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Okay, it didn't fall too, too far, thanks to that stalactite. I always forget which is stalagmite and stalactite, but then I figured out that stalactite is from the top. So I think if people were so inclined, they could definitely make up some type of game with this. Now that Women's World Cup is currently playing, who wouldn't want to go play soccer with your friends? Me, I'm just going to try not to lose this. Because it does not attach... ...to things, nor can you deflate it. So there's also one more thing. I just have to figure out where it is. There you go. Floodlight ends for the personal printer. So... ...everything gets a little boost. Oh, it requires tungsten, not tungsten carbide. I don't think I have tungsten here. I think it's wolframite. And we need three for two. I really hope I'm right. Because then, if it's not wolframite... Well... I guess we'll see. Yep, wolframite, good. The right thing. That gets us some material. To smelt up. Look at that power drain. I'm glad that I got that battery. But pretty much everything's still running at night. So that allows us to make the floodlight. It's very dark. That doesn't do anything on my back. Well, it's actually not on my back. So if I put that on, it would only be... Illuminating... My shoulder. The roof. The ceiling. As I'm walking around. Not very useful. The work light is better. But... In case it's like this... Yeah, street lights... Or to light up a working area? Definitely a thing. That's definitely how this is working. Otherwise, we are just doing... Something like this. I'm turning that on. Which is okay. Not particularly useful. So yeah, put the floodlight there. Hopefully it doesn't drain too much power. 
Yeah, this bit ball is gonna wander away. I can feel it. So we have Doug towards the center. A lot. Um, I think we want to get a rover, at least a medium, if not a large. Although, you know what? I was probably, probably am planning on making a large rover. Let's just get stuff moved out of the way so we could actually print this up. So what were you looking for? You were looking for two rubber and two aluminum alloy. Let's grab this rubber back. And I think I might have used up the aluminum alloy. We have one. Let's make another one. Yeah, with the battery, I think this stuff all processes a lot faster, so I'm happy I got that. Makes life a little bit easier. Ding. Ooh, and let's get out of that way before it crushes us. Okay, chasing after the sphere is definitely something you can do while waiting for stuff to print up. I'm just waiting up for the, uh, that large thingy to print up. Oh, so there's also apparently some variations of these, well, dangerous things. Um, if I destroy this, it might drop seeds? No. That's a research sample. I'm looking for seeds out of some of these. Let see where those went. Uh, there's non... So there's seed variations. Where the heck? That you can get now. Okay, they seem to drop. So that is pop coral. So that's one of the dangerous ones. This stuff just seems to fly away right now. But we've got pop coral. Um, there's some type of tame variations that you could hunt for. I think I'm inclined to do that. I have some of this collection of the dangerous ones. Um, where are they? Oh, we got a package. Somewhere around here. There's a lot of lithium. There we go. Those are the dangerous ones. So we've got lash leaf and thistle whip. We have pop coral. We know that there's a, a dagger one. I think, um... Lash Leap is a tongue one. Thistle Whip is the one that strikes you when you're by it. I think we see a couple up there. Um, I don't know what the grenade plant is. But that's why I keep on calling it the grenade plant. There you go. Large! Whoa! Wover. Okay, okay. Um... That might not do. Oh, it'll work. We just might only drill one side. Huh. Alright, let's see about maybe using this. We might need two drills. Or we might need the crane attachment. And we could have a lot more storage on this thing. So just... Oh, we don't have any power. <laughs> okay. Let's grab this medium generator. And... A bunch of ca uh, carbon. Power my ride up. Oh, it looks like the uh, wind has started up. So there apparently is supposed to be some type of left-right motion on this now, but I'm not really, not really seeing it. Um, so I'm just going left and right, maybe with the uh, armaments here. But yeah, I'm not seeing it at all. Hmm. It's just disappointing. Let's head down. Get you powered up a little bit more. Of course, the moment I turn it on, the wind starts up. Apparently there's more control. There's like... 
a better braking system going on. Yeah, this thing runs out of power fast. And like I said, every time I go to turn this on, I guess I could just leave it running. What type of environmentalist would I be if I did that? Apparently an environmentalist with uh, an episode that needs to be recorded. The sacrifices we do. Alright, so, and you just saw the spoiler right there. I finally found one of these spheres. Apparently there's multiple types, but this one here is our first one. We don't know what it is, there's no way to identify it, but it's just there. So this, I'm going to put it on the front. No, I'm not going to put it on the front. Put it, I was going to put it at the top, but hey, a zebra spear. Very rare. A lot of popcorn down here. I don't want to touch popcorn while I'm down here because I know I'll die. Uh, but we did sa find some more research items and stuff like that down here. Even a full medium generator. Uh, and a work life. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That could be useful. Light up the way in front of us. Uh, we've got a bunch of research items that I picked up. A bunch of scrap debris. I've been searching around here for just, like, stuff to dig up. Uh, did a little bit of research while I was down here because of that medium generator. But we really haven't found a lot of scrap for us. Did I go down to the core? I don't think I did. Should I? I think I should. It sh I'm expecting it to be uh, hematite that we need down there. I hear... wind. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. Anyway, this must be, um... A uh, wind turbine on some debris around here. Oh no, maybe that's mine. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's dig. And see... Okay, I thought that was something new. Let's see how close to the core we could get today. So I have to cut this, edit this, and get back up to the surface. I do feel like I'm in a little bit more control with this thing. And I can actually see above me, which is a bonus. Just back off. See what we've got here. Ooh. That's kind of neat. It's a stalagmite with research samples around it. Kind of don't want to knock it down. Oh, well, looks like we've hit core materials. That's what I was afraid of. I can dig through it because I think we have drill mod 1, but this is drill strength 1. We need drill strength 2 to actually effectively start mining through here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Well, we broke through some tougher material. Just in time, we were about to plummet <laughs> into the core. All right. Well, this has been Movie Strikes from the Movie Archives. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoyed the episode? Leave us a like, leave us some comments and suggestions, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye bye.